right? It's just becoming aware of how we're feeling. And that's really what I think personal development is, is changing your state, energy, and being aware. All right, everybody, here we are for another episode of It Takes Grit, the podcast that's going to help you find the grit that you need to get to where you want to be in life. What's up, everybody? My name is Rebecca Louise, and I am so excited to talk to you guys about being self-aware. Okay, this is a big topic and it takes a while to really understand yourself, have that relationship with you and to live in a state of positivity. How would you feel every single day if you woke up with excitement, with a zest for life and with a positive mindset? How much do you think that that would change your day-to-day life? Well, you know what? Mindset is one of the biggest things. And on this podcast, yes, we talk about nutrition, we talk about fitness, but the foundation of everything comes down to your mindset. And You know, it's interesting because I was kind of reflecting back. I was speaking at an event this weekend in North Carolina and, you know, I was asked to speak on on my business. And what I find often is that, that, you know, we can have all the tools and the strategies and how we do the invitations, how we get new clients and how we build on social media. And if we don't have the foundation of personal development first, we will never be able to execute those other areas. We won't even be able to execute the business. We won't even be able to execute a great workout. And it reminded me of, of when I first got mentored by one of my incredible mentors, you know, in, in 2013, when I first got introduced to personal development. And I remember coming out of the meetings and being so fired up and so excited, but I wasn't quite sure what they actually taught me. I was like, so what am I supposed to do? Like, I'm fired up, I have self-belief, I have confidence, but I'm not actually sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. And as I look back, I think he, he didn't teach me everything, right? But what he did teach me was the mindset to do anything. And that's really what I want to install in you guys is so often we're looking for the exact tool, like the actual thing that's going to help us get from A to B, where really it's a mindset. It's a state that you live in. It's an energy and it's being aware of how you are behaving. So what I want to do is for this little podcast that we're going to have today is I just want you to be aware, right? It's just becoming aware of how we're feeling. And that's really what I think personal development is, is changing your state, energy, and being aware. Like being aware of like, how are you perceived by other people? Like, are you perceived negatively? Are you perceived with great energy? Like, how are you perceived? Now, it's not all about someone else's judgment, absolutely not, but it's important to reflect back and the, the what people are saying for like to you, right? They're like, hey, you're kind of being negative again. If you're like, no, I'm not, like that's not happening. Are you being aware of that? So one of the thing, big things that I spoke about at this event where I was teaching people about building their businesses was how do you show up every day on a scale of one to 10? Like, what is your energy like? Are you aware that as your day goes on that you have less energy? Are you aware that something in the morning might throw you off your energy and it ruins your whole day? Are you aware that small things tick you off and get you mad and get you angry and it rolls on for the rest of your day? So one of the big things that I've learned in personal development um, and the work that I've done, and, and I've, I'm so different now. Like, you know, I used to, my emotions used to be up all over the place. Like I used to not be able to continue the day if something bad happened. I remember, you know, if, if things like, if, if it didn't quite go right, then I would get mad at myself because I got mad because it didn't go right. And then I get mad because I got mad at myself and it would be this roll on the thing. What I've learned is how to let it go fast and realize that, the world isn't against me. You know, I don't have to be negative. I don't have to have an emotional roller coaster. I can actually control that and I can come from a place of gratitude. I can come from a place of like, what is this teaching me? Like, and I'm not saying that it's it's not work as we go through these steps, but the first thing that we want to do is we want to be aware. So just take a moment right now and really wake yourself up to going, am I aware of my behavior? Am I aware of all the excuses that I give myself? Am I aware of my negativity? Am I aware of the fact that I'm not doing the work that I'm supposed to, even though I say that I should? The biggest thing 
to help you move from where you are right now to where you want to go is being aware. Because if you really do want to change, if you really want to be that positive person in life, like you have to first admit and be aware that maybe you're not that type of person, right? And that's okay. We all start at some place. And before personal development, me included, right? A lot of times we are just trying to find ourselves, right? Instead of finding yourself, just be yourself, right? And it's being aware of how you are acting towards other people. And most importantly, how are you treating yourself? Are you aware that maybe sometimes you give yourself negativity? Are you aware of the way that you speak to yourself? Are you speaking to yourself in an empowering way, in a way that's going to motivate you, that's going to lift you up? Are you aware of that? And so over the next couple of days, I want you to have like a sign that just brings you back to oh, all right, let me get aware of this situation that I'm in right now. Because for me, you know, and it's kind of like when you're teaching a dog, you kind of go like this, you like this, and then it kind of brings them back to awareness, right? That's why you use that technique. If you're walking along a dog at the side of the road and you need them to kind of like, you know, get attention and focus back on the walk rather than snipping something or walking in the middle of the road, you go, that's all you do. What are you doing when you do that? You're bringing awareness back to the focus, back to what they're meant to be doing, right? Back to walking straight and walking along the pavement, not snipping at something, not getting distracted, not walking in the middle of the road, right? You are focused on that. So for me, honestly, that's what I used to do with myself, right? I used to like this, like literally go on and maybe that's going to work for you. Maybe you need a word or something. Maybe you need to make a movement. Maybe you need to kind of yes in the air or maybe do a big star jump or maybe a lunge, right? That is what's going to bring you like physically back to being aware. Because when we're in it, it's so hard, right, to like get out of it unless we move and change our physiological body. It's one of the biggest things that we learn in changing our state is change your physiological body. So I would just go like this and I'd make myself aware of how I was behaving. Hey, you know, your reactions right now, they're not that great. You need to be like, you need to reel it back in because I can feel it happening now. I can feel it happening, you know, even in my life now, I just don't go from zero to 60. I start to think, okay, why am I being triggered by this? Let's not react, let's not respond. Like, let's just take this in feedback and let it go, right? Because, you know, if you're around powerful, positive and happy people, they're not there to pull you down. They're there to lift you up. And sometimes we take things personally and that's so normal, that's human behavior but just be aware of how you're reacting to things. Like that is honestly the biggest thing for me when it comes to personal development. It's being aware of how you speak to other people. It's being aware of, hey, are you talking about others behind their back? Are you saying things about other people to try and bring yourself up? Are there other people in your life right now that are pulling you down because they want you to come to their level rather than you to go to their level. You have to be aware of what people are also doing around you. And one of the big things that I talk about in the, in the transformation program is setting those boundaries. Are you aware of the boundaries that you are setting? One big thing that you want to really focus on is yes, the awareness with yourself, with how you react to things, right? The awareness of how you talk to yourself and the awareness of other people's opinions, negativity, and energy around you. You know, I, I know people that, you know, they're, they're happy and they're smiley and they're go-getters and then someone says something to them and it pulls them down. Like it jabs at them and it brings their energy. And if you're not aware of that, maybe this is the sign that you've been listening for right now. And I'm going to tell you that you get to be aware of that. If your energy changes because somebody else around you is doing something that's bringing your energy down, that's on you. That's on you to think about how can I change my state? Even though that someone said the worst thing to me, they're trying to pull me down. How can I bring myself up and be aware that that person is just saying something to pull me down? Another thing that I really want to, you know, touch on today is the awareness of how you are around others in terms of your own energy. Are you participating or are you just taking? 
Are you aware of what other people are bringing into your life and the effort that they're giving you and the contributions that they're giving you and the way that they're to help you and you are like just taking, 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 taking? Are you actually aware of that? And maybe you're on the other end of it. Maybe you're not aware right now that you are giving and giving and giving and giving. And there's someone on the other end who is just not giving anything back. And you may be getting frustrated with them. That's something to be aware of. Hey, if I'm giving all the time, am I expecting this person to give something back? And if you are, remember, we want to trade our expectations for appreciations. One of the big things, you know, that gets us into a state of positivity is going, oh, I'm not mad at like what this person didn't do. I'm grateful for what they did do. So be aware of both of those areas. Are you giving? And are you giving and giving and giving? Are you giving to get something back? Or are you giving because that's just in your nature? And maybe there comes a point where you have those boundaries. Or are you someone right now who's just taking? Are you on, you know, trainings and team calls or at work where you're just sitting there and you're taking everybody else's energy? You get to be aware of that. This is all this podcast is today. It's just to get us to think a different way. Get us to think like, hey, am I being difficult? Am I giving too much? Am I being negative? Am I giving out good energy? It it works both ways. We want to be aware of both, not just, you know, the negative stuff that's, you know, that, that we feel like we're not doing, but also being aware of all of the amazing things that we are. We always want to start with five amazing things, three of the five things that have gone great, three of the five things that are amazing. And then one thing that maybe is your biggest opportunity or challenge that you get to build that gap. You know, life is all about finding where that gap is in your life, whether it's your health, your relationships, your career, money, all those different areas. And looking at one in particular, which is where the biggest gap is right now and filling that gap. That's all it is. And it's all you get to focus on is one thing at a time. And it might be that that one area has to work for a couple of weeks to close the gap. Are you aware right now of what area in your life need some attention. Listen to me when I say that there are going to be so many gaps in your life, right? But where is there one area right now that if you were just honest with yourself and you were aware of it, that if you improve that would actually help all areas of your life? You know, for for me, you know, relationships are so important. Like when you're in an amazing relationship and you're feeling incredible and you feel supported and it's all fired up, oh my goodness, it's actually going to have such a big ripple effect on everything else. You're going to feel more motivated. You're going to feel happier. You're going to feel more content. You're going to have more vision for your future. So maybe that's an area that you get uh, get get to work on. But are you aware of that? Are you really aware that maybe in your job right now, they're just not loving it? but you're like, oh, this is just what I do. I just get up every day and I go to work. Are you aware that there is another way? Are you aware that there is another opportunity? Are you aware that you have a choice? Are you aware that you can change? You know, you can't change your, you know, your destination overnight, but you can change your direction. It's just about being aware and being open. And so I want you to walk away with today's podcast, just going, huh, how can I be aware of how I act? with how I behave and how I react? And how can I be aware of one area in my life that might need a little bit of extra TLC that I can really work on to helping me close that gap and then having a better overall life? Well, if this podcast has helped you in any way today, just being aware of your life and being aware of how you are, then please share this with a friend. Share it with somebody that's gonna be impacted from this. You know, you get to be that hero in someone's life today by sharing something, one little mindset tip, one little line in this podcast can completely change somebody's life because they start to think of things differently. They realize they don't have to live a certain way. And remember, you do have the grit to get to where you want to be. You do have that confidence to fight to what you want to be. And you can build that muscle of motivation and personal development as long as you keep on showing up and you show up when it's the most difficult day to show up. Guys, thank you so much for listening. Well done for implying yourself and actually putting yourself into a place of personal development so that you can improve and you can change other people's lives as well. I love you guys so much. Make sure you go follow the It Takes Grit podcast for daily motivation and I'll see you next week. Bye everybody.